Welcome to the Chasing Ebenezer Show, where we talk a little, play some music, and encourage you to be weird like us. Just like us. Yeah. I'm Ben, this is Heidi, and today we're going to talk about Johnny Cash. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm dressed in I know. honor of Black Johnny Cash. Black is honestly my favorite color. I love it. It makes me look thinner, and it matches my beard. On so, well, uh, it, uh, it, it, little, it 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 used gray, to it little used to, in there. It used to match my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so yeah, today Johnny we're gonna Cash. talk about Johnny Cash. Actually, you're gonna do most of the talking. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're gonna talk today about why at least Ben thinks that Johnny Cash is timeless. Yeah, because I mean, when you look at his his history as a songwriter, and you look at his fan base, you got people that are. 15 that think he's cool and you got people that are like in their 60s that think he's cool or older or older and you got people who like country that like him and you have people that listen to punk rock that respect him so you you look at that and you're like well well, what is it about him what is it about him what was what if i say johnny cash what is a song that comes to mind about him that you like oh there's so many Ah, uh, I don't know. It's hard to choose. I like Walk the Line. I like Folsom Prison. Oh, there's so many. Folsom Prison's a good one. Yeah, and I like, uh, oh, there's just so many. Yeah, I... Tell us in the comments below... What your favorite Johnny yeah, Cash song is. Yeah, what your favorite Johnny Ca- Cash song is, too. Yeah. yeah. Deep Tracks. Okay, how about you? You know, I think that... Well, one of my favorite songs by him, so I'm going to give you two answers. Oh, okay. The first one is, I mean, and he didn't write this, he covered it. He covered Hurt by Nine Inch Nails. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I loved that song. And the reason I loved it was because knowing his story, knowing his background, he completely embodied that song. I felt it. I felt the ache, I felt the longing, and I felt the honesty. So I love that. Uh, but the song that made me like him, I remember it was about... 10 years ago maybe a little bit longer and I was watching VH1 when they were doing music videos and they were airing his version of God's Gonna Cut You Down Mm. and I just loved that song I just felt the I don't know someone not being afraid to talk about God punishing people and doing it in a way that sounded like it didn't bother me you know I mean you know sometimes that can come off as really judgmental but there was something about the way he sang it that didn't because I think he knew he was just as guilty as anybody else that he was singing about. So I guess like what I guess the honesty piece is what really um, attracts me to him. Yeah, and I think that's what we'd like to encourage you about is that I mean I I'm a perfectionist. So even the fact that no. I'm sitting, yeah, I know <laughs> the fact that I'm even sitting here talking to you without a full crew without you know, everything perfect, that's hard for me. But I think that people really connect with honesty mm-hmm. and not perfection. Yep. So they want to believe you versus maybe be in awe of you, you know. So, mm-hmm. so and that's, as artists, I don't really think that's the goal either is for everyone to be in awe of us. So, so just wherever you're at in your art journey, just be you where you're at. And with practice, everything's going to get better. Yep. So... Just be genuine in what you're creating versus perfect. Well, and even there's something beautiful in the imperfection. I remember listening to his album that had hurt on it. Um, and I just remember hearing the first song, The Man Comes Around. I think we listened to it recently. And just there's a brittleness in his voice. Because like when you get older, sorry, your voice begins to sort of deteriorate just a little bit. Um, and honestly... The deterioration in his voice, like the the oldness in his voice, was just crackling. Oh man, it was so good, and it made me think. It made me think about wow, this is a guy who has been through some stuff, and has authority to speak on it. And so I, I don't know. I think that's. Uh, I think that's really important because I mean it would be really easy for me because I'm really insecure about my voice. I get butt hurt very easily <laughs> about my singing voice, and. You know. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Very sensitive. Very much. So <laughs> if I was starting to get older and my range was maybe limited or if um, what I was already insecure about was getting worse, 
I would have a hard time owning that. I would want to hide or I would just walk around being perpetually offended all the time. Snapping. Yep, yep. But he owned it and it worked. Yeah. So just own it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have a creative prompt for you and then we're going to play you Wayfaring Stranger, which, which he is... covered. I was going to say that. Well... <laughs> Which he covered, and Chase and Ebenezer also covered it. We yep. played that on our first album, Outcasts and Refugees, which you can listen to on Spotify or get on iTunes. Um, but before we do that, what is um, the prompt? The prompt. Uh, so the challenge for creativity this week is honesty over Whoa. perfection. You might need some more you might, coffee. You might need some more coffee. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so what we want you to do is to do one, we'll just do one page. One page you of free writing. You can do as many as you want, but just one if, if that's daunting to you. Writing about what you're the most insecure about, mo- what is most difficult for you to say to another person. Write it to yourself. And Preferably with Johnny Cash playing in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, and then with that, use it maybe as a launch pad to create something. Yeah. Yeah. Your pain and the things that you're insecure about are the perfect raw materials to make great art. Yeah. So we're going to play a song. And if you like what we're doing, um, we would love to invite you to go to Patreon and uh, continue, you know, yeah, give us a dollar. Us. We'll take your money. We'll take your money. I'm going to be really honest it, about that. It'll help us continue doing these shows. Uh, it'll help us continue to make more music as Chasing Ebenezer. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you would like the words and the chords that we use for Wayfaring Stranger, you can go to the ChasingEbenezer.com store. Yep. And you can download that for free. All right. All righty, Rudy. All right. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. Just over Jordan I'm only 
Es un 